بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الأمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سيدي صلى الله عليه وسلم بليز صلى الله عليه وسلم So today we're going to revise together for the exam which is too easy grade 4 It's gonna be an easy exam, okay? And all the questions you might have in the exam and all the rules that I'm going to explain today, you might have those in the exam, okay? So I'm going to, to make sure that everything is clear, my place. So let's start, what's this? Come. Okay, we're going to start with the comprehension, of course. The exam is going to be about horse heroes. It's not going to be about that scene two. We're not going to have an exam about scene two. What is the genre of the story Horse Heroes? It's an expository text. And here, if he's going to ask you what is an expository text, everyone knows that. It provides us with truths, facts, it exposes us. That's why it's an expository text. It exposes us to real events, maybe in the, in the past or in uh, the real time we are living in today. So, uh, it's a real text. Then, what was the name of the horse relay designed to keep the mail moving day and night? So here he is talking about uh, the, the, the horse link that they, they have created in the United States of America. Okay? It was the Pony Express, of course. Okay? When we have said that we have 157 stations moving from one station to another, if you remember that. Okay? That's the Pony Express, people delivering mail from one station to another, of course with the help of uh, uh, the heroes, our horses. Based on the information in the story, why was the Pony Express such a dangerous job? To be honest for you, I didn't like this question, I didn't want to incorporate it, but I had to ask about it. Because uh, it's not only about the Native Americans, I know the, the correct answer is the Native Americans who often declared war on the riders of inv for invading their territories and uh, so on and so on. But they, they, they did not face only that danger of Native Americans. Keep in mind, and bear in mind, Teacher Malik is not here to teach you for the exam, not only for the exam. No, I want you to think, I want you to remember every information I provide you with, you see? So, here we have to say that they did not face only one danger, they faced a lot of dangers. Wild animals, uh, maybe uh, criminals, okay, who want to kill them in the way and to steal their money, to steal their horses. We have talked about a lot of dangers. But here, they have focused on the danger of the Native Americans, who often declared war on the riders uh, for invading their territory, okay? was not only for invading their territory, but they had a lot of problems uh, between the Native Americans and uh, the new, let's say, comers, okay, the colonists, okay. What was Amy Shifley's crazy idea? Amy Shifley's crazy idea, position here, he's talking about the crazy idea of Amy Shifley, okay, in 1925. Everyone remembers that he wanted to travel 10,000 miles from Argentina or Argentina to Washington DC that was his crazy idea and he succeeded in doing it with the help of the two horses of course Gato and Nacha why did Gato refuse to cross the water in Peru if you remember that okay they wanted to cross like a small creek it was easy for the, for, for the horse to, to cross that creek but the horse refused was it was it a bad horse no, it was not. Okay, that horse like saved the, the life of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, Amy Chipley. Okay, because there was a quicksand there. You know the quicksand. We have talked about this, and we have explained it. We have said that the, the quicksand are wet, moving sand that are going to swallow you inside. Okay, so there was a quicksand in the water. Why was Golden cloud, if you remember, the horse that was in Hollywood, the fa the most famous horse in Hollywood, renamed Trigger. Okay, so he was rena renamed. You know the trigger of the gun, bim bim bim. So the bullet when it comes out of the gun, is it so fast or like slow? It's so fast. Yeah, that's why he was so fast. Okay, just like the bullet when it comes out after like 
squeezing the trigger of, uh, of the gun. He was very quick. He was so fast. Which of the following statements about trigger is false? And here, this question made a lot of problems in Classera. So, uh, he was the largest horse anyone had ever seen. He is looking for the wrong statement. He knew more than 60 tricks. He could walk 150 steps on his hind legs, on his back legs. Okay, so the wrong one is he was the largest horse anyone had ever seen. They have never said that. They have never mentioned that. They said that he knew more than 60 tricks. Correct. And he could walk 150 steps. Correct on his hind legs. Vocabulary. Weekly teacher, you only have five minutes. Or we're going to add another video. No problem. What is the definition of vast? Something which is vast. It's so wide. So huge. Rickety. You remember when we talked about uh, about that old bridge, which is a rickety, okay? When the horse is uh, passing, it was uh, mancha. It was uh, it was passing, and that 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 bridge. It made the blood in uh, in. Uh, it made it made cheerfully feels. It made him feel his blood so cold. He was so like afraid you see because that that uh, that bridge was so old and it was unstable okay it was shaky what is the definition of infested whoa my home is infested with bees no i'm joking i have no bees in my home so infested it means like uh, invaded by harmful insects or animals 99 percent uh, of the people who are going to use the word infested are professional people who work in the domain of insects and uh, animals. So infested is being attacked by uh, animals or bees uh, or insects, for example bees, okay, attacking your home, which are ho harmful uh, uh, insects or animals, of course. You remember we said that the river was inf infested with uh, alligators or uh, crocodiles. Now here, what is the definition of road? To roam. To move from one place to another without having any specific goal. That's too wrong. Okay? The exact synonym is wonder, my boys. What is the definition of resistance? It has like two or three definitions. If you're talking about physics, resistance, if I'm this hand is taking it this way, and this hand is taking it this way, I'm going to create a force of resistance. Okay? When you talk about resistance, in wars, for example, um, the American they resisted against the British colonists back in 1775, okay, to react against, okay. For example, I'm going to say, um, when 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 I tried to to catch the cat, uh, he showed me some resistance, okay, with his uh, claws, okay, trying to to scratch, me, okay. So resistance is to react, okay, against something which is usually unfair. What is the definition of landslide? Oh my God, I hate landslides. So, uh, if you have ever like traveled to a part, for example, here in Saudi Arabia, you're going to discover that they always have like landslides. Okay, they have huge, big mountains, and we're going to have rocks falling from upside uh, the hill down to uh, to uh, to the streets or down to. Uh, the big roads sometimes those rocks they're going to uh, to close the road or to block the road or sometimes they kill people even so it's a mass of earth falling downhill that's the meaning of landslide we're going to move on to another video i'm going to meet you in part two